Nah tuh ya kalau kita umur pula dua ya setara ada lebih pula lah Dan kita cerita ya sudah dikatir Potong ini DPS Dikatir juga Ya kelak kelas Dikatir juga 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 If you're in Saudi Arabia, or if you're coming to Saudi Arabia, there are things that you should never joke with, and that is the security forces of Saudi Arabia. Let me tell you the reason as to why. Uh, I've been in Saudi Arabia for some few months, and uh, for people who don't know, my name is Ali. My, I have been in Saudi Arabia for a few months, and soon I'm leaving Saudi Arabia, and I'll be taking you through my journey, because the journey is wide and fast spread, and I'm sure you should, you should just subscribe for more and more videos, and amazing videos as well. Now, I work in a desert region. So security forces in Saudi Arabia are some of the people whom you should never joke with. And this is the reason. You know, back in my country, that is Kenya, I come from Kenya. Most security men, you find them wearing an attire, a uniform. Everyone knows that ah, that one is a security man. But here in Saudi Arabia, it's quite different. It's very different. And the difference is, there's something we call the top. Top is the attire, which is the most common attire that you'll find here most men wearing it's like a dress it's a dress like um type of clothing well all of all of men all of people all all men calibers they wear the top right but now one of the funniest thing is that uh, you never know who is a security guard until you make a mistake until they they doubt you because they are like all of them all men are the same here all of them wear the white top wear this turban like the one which i'm wearing so that's why I usually say, always carry your ikama. That is your, your identification card. Now, the reason as to why this thing is very serious is because you might do something and think that ah, no one is watching me, right? But you might be in a split of a second. People might be around you and asking you questions. Everyone from left, right, and center. Everyone wants to know, hey, what are you doing here? Why did you do that? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? Now, that, this is the whole reason as to why you should always be careful here in Saudi Arabia because you never know who's watching. And identification guys, identification guys, this ID that I usually claim that you should be walking around with. Guys who are in Saudi Arabia know, I don't know other Gulf countries, but in Saudi Arabia, it's, it's a very serious thing that you should always have your identification card from wherever you are. That is if you are a common worker like me and you and people who are coming. So whoever is watching this video from wherever you are, make sure if you are coming to Saudi Arabia, if you get your ikama, make sure you are working with your ikama. And before you, your ikama is being processed, at least work with your passport. Those are two things that you always told while you are still here new in Saudi Arabia. And I mean, I thank God I've never been arrested. That's one. I wouldn't want any one of you to be arrested because when you get arrested, I usually say that uh, you're going to be charged and if you're charged, uh, that money is going to be deducted and it's, it's like, from your end goal, it's actually decreasing your goal that you had before, right? So guys, let's try as much as possible to always carry our identification card and here, things are different. I know you're used to this type of things, this type of things, here things are different. You might be arrested purely from just staring at another woman's uh, another woman walking with with his or her husband or something of the sort so always just mind your own business no staring staring like anyhow without any plan because it would be very sad i'm telling you guys it would be very very sad you get arrested you didn't have any plan of being arrested you know plans i know anyone no one that does have plan of being arrested but the most important thing guys is uh, Let's try as much as possible. If you're coming to Saudi Arabia, just stick to some rules and regulations, you know? Simple rules, simple regulations, and you'll be free from all those issues. Because, can you imagine, like, you coming in Saudi Arabia, you've just been here for a few months, like two months or three months, and then you get arrested. So, it's, very, it's a very challenging moment. And I know most of us, we are used to 
walking around, talking to anyone. My friend here, you cannot talk to any lady. Just like that. Unless maybe this lady has asked you a question and you like, you know, I've seen men who are very courageous. Men who are always, men like people who are used to talking so much. And at the end of the day, they come here, they become very silent. You, know, you ask them, hey bro, what's happening? Why are you not talking to everyone? The way you used to talk to people. And they end up telling you that, man, Saudi Arabia is different. I cannot do that or else I'll, I'll be arrested. So like here people become, they turn their, their, I don't know how can I say it. Like they become very humble because they know the rules here, very serious. Now, one of the fact, and it is a plain fact that I know you guys don't know. And that is in Saudi Arabia, first priority is the women. Like Saudi Arabia people value their women. So if a woman says that you have done this and that, my friend, my friend, I'm telling you, you're in the wrong move, you're in the wrong area. Because if she does, if she just, she does say like that, then they're going to face it. So, I mean, these are some of the things which I thought that uh, I should let you know that security guards, security people in Saudi Arabia wear thobs, so you cannot know who's a security person unless they are army and uh, traffic police. Those two, they wear their uniforms all, all the time. But these other ones, my friend, you never know. Like someone would come to you, he's wearing his thobe, he just removes his card and shows you that, hey, I'm a police security, I'm a, I'm a security guard. Why are you doing this, this and that, you know? And uh, it will be a very big challenge for you if they arrest you and maybe the claims that they're claiming is something that is real. So most of the time, I like advising people. When you're here, that's why I usually say, be calm. Because you never know like uh, who's watching you. Try as much as possible. Just mind your own business. Like when you're here, it is purely minding your own business and that's how you'll survive. So I think uh, with those few remarks, let me just uh, end this video right now. And I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Please comment, subscribe, and share my videos as well because I want to tell you every trick, tips and tricks of surviving here in Saudi Arabia because my happiness is you, you come, deal with your time, finish your time, go back, or if you want to stay, just stay. But uh, I, I mean, I feel happy when I realize that uh, my tips helped you, you know. So in case of any question, guys, kindly comment down below. Tell me what you'd want to see, what you'd want, you'd want me to like to give you in terms of uh, of um, questions that you really want to know. And uh, I think the, the next video, I've already gotten another idea because uh, there are a few things which are usually very critical, and uh, that is uh, you come as a you come as an you come through an agent, and then after that you might be given to another agent. That's the story of the next video. So guys, stay tuned and uh, have an amazing, amazing time. See you in the next video, guys.